Hello everyone, this is Joe Workman, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Jack4. Now, Jack is gonna be your new best friend. Uh, it is just such an amazing stack. It does so many things that it's gonna be your go-to stack for so many different Rapid Weaver layouts. Now, Jack's been around for a long time, but what we've done with the Jack4 release is that we've really paid attention to the details, and it's a lot easier to use, and we've taken a lot of work to actually show you all the things that you can do with Jack. So we're gonna review a lot of those features today in this video. Now watch out for future videos where we're gonna go over each feature in detail. But for right now, without further ado, let's jump on into Jack. So here we are on the Jack layout page. And what we'll see here is a lot of the layout features that we have within Jack. Now, Jack comes with a lot of, with a couple really great advanced height controls. Uh, the first is allowing allowing you to keep Jack at a proportional height width. For example, here in this blue box that we see, Jack will maintain that 16 by 9 ratio all across from desktop down to the mobile device. Okay. Jack also has the ability to set the height of itself relative to the, its parent stack. So here we have an example where we have a large box and Jack has been set to take up 50% height of that box. Now you can also set Jack to be relative to browser height. So here we are on the full height Jack page. And we'll notice that Jack is set to be 100% height of the browser window. And then we can scroll down to see the content. And these Jack stacks here within here are actually set to be 50% of the browser height. Now, Jack also allows us to control the scrolling. So we can actually have data that actually scrolls both vertically and horizontally. Next, we have responsive margins and padding. And what this allows you to do is to actually have the margins and padding reduce in size based on the browser width. And what you'll notice on mobile devices is that Jack responds the padding down based on the browser width. So on smaller devices, Jack will have a smaller footprint. Now the next feature allows you to actually rotate the entire contents of Jack. What we've done here is we've done a nice example of using Jack to rotate some photos to give you a nice effect uh, on your page. And last but not least, um, don't be scared to layer your Jacks. Uh, layering this particular example uses three Jack stacks with various effects to actually create a really beautiful frame. Now let's look at what Jack can do for our borders. Now Jack ships with eight different border styles. So you can do stitch looks and a lot of really great looks uh, to accent and accentuate your, your content, including border opacity. And this is a really sought out, really cool feature. Next thing is round corners. Not only round corners, you can obviously change the corners on one side or all sides, but you can make some really great unique shapes, pillboxes, and even circles with Jack. And last but definitely not least, is Jack ships with over 50 frames that will scale proportionally to your content. This makes it 100% responsive. And you can look at the Jack frames page to see all of the available frames that actually ship with Jack. Now backgrounds really can make your website pop, okay? Now obviously Jack can do boring solid color backgrounds, but if you add some transparency to it, it can really make a sexy experience, okay? Now Jack can also do image backgrounds. So we can have nice tiled images. We can actually scale an image to cover the entire width and height. You can control the repeats of your tile so that maybe you only accent one part of your Jack stack. And lastly, you can actually do fixed backgrounds. So as you notice, as I scroll and up and down the page, the background image is fixed. This is how we can achieve parallax effects using Jack. Now Jack ships with over 250 tiles that you can use directly from within stacks. And this page here, you can use as a legend to determine exactly what tile you want to use for your site. This shows small previews of all the tiles that ship with Jack so that you can see exactly what it's going to look like when you put it on the page. Jack can also do great gradients. 
linear gradients, radial gradients, ellipses, two tones. And something that's specific to Jack is that I developed a great fade gradient that allows Jack to fade to be 100% transparent, as well as fading Jack into a, a background. So this is a great effect that I can't wait to see what you guys do with. And last but not least, Jack allows you to animate your backgrounds. This works exceptionally well with background tiles, since tiles will scale infinitely. But you can really make your website pop with some great background animations. I recommend trying some subtle animations. If you look at the top banner on this Jack Backgrounds page, you will notice that it's actually slowly animating to the top left of the page. This is a very subtle um, style that really is amazing. Now Jack has a lot of highly configurable shadow controls. You can actually add up to three different shadows to the same Jack instance. And this gives you a lot of possibilities for some amazing effects. As we see here, we can have a great raised corner effect that is very popular. And these shadows are 100% configurable. As you see down here, we have a great peak effect where the shadow peaks above and below, but not on the sides of Jack. And conversely, you can do the same thing on the sides so that the top and bottom really don't have a shadow, but the sides do. We can have great inset shadows as well as flat hipster shadows as well. Now last, but definitely not least, is Jack's amazing hover effects. So Jack ships with a second stack called Jack Hover. And you can use this hover stack to completely modify the look and feel of Jack when you hover over it. Let's look at some examples. So here for layout, we can hover over and change the width and height of Jack. Here, we can actually change the rotation. So when we hover over it, it just kind of skews a little bit. And you can actually combine these and do modify when you hover over it, it'll rotate and change the width of Jack. These are just a few of the examples. Really, you can do a lot more with these hover effects. With hover border, you can change the size and opacity on hover, as well as doing a really cool thing and morphing a Jack stack from a square to a circle. Very cool. Next, we can hover backgrounds. So you can actually change the entire background image on hover, as well as the opacity for a more subtle, elegant effect. And last but not least, we can hover shadows. So as you hover, you can actually change the shadow effect uh, within Jack. So that is Jack. There's a lot baked into Jack, right? I mean, you can do so many things. I mean, I blazed through these features and it still took a up a lot of time, right? So um, Jack, again, it's gonna be your new best friend. Uh, the more you use it, the more you'll learn how to use it and th the better it's gonna be for you. So I hope you enjoy Jack. I hope you use it to make your websites great. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.